Good evening, ball bags. It's um, welcome to this very, very special occasion. It's um, the blue ribboned event. It's so important. It's named after that chocolate bar from the 1970s. Um, where tonight we will finally discover who is going to win the Chris Evans Not That One trophy. Uh, could be named after you if you want to be the sponsor of this. It's a bit late though. And have enough money. But at the moment, Chris Evans, not that one. Or that one. Uh, fine trophy there for the winner of this. And it's the final I think everyone wanted at the start. We started with 40 players. We started back. I don't know what even when it was. It was sometime in 2020. Everyone had two testicles back then, didn't they? Uh, we saw Neanderthal Man. Sorry, Neanderthal Me. Me 17. Beat Fist of Fun Me, Me 33, and who can forget that amazing frame between left-handed me and motorcycling me. Motorcycling me went on to, I think, reach the, the semi-finals, the quarter-finals. Quarter-finals, where he was beaten by Me 11. Uh, but he very nearly came a cropper in that qualifying round against left-handed me, a real hero. Um, I mean, we won't go through everything, but... Uh, me, motorcycling me and Meninist me, both qualifiers um, who both made it through to the quarterfinals and the semifinals. And uh, then we started round one proper in the juiced Bellart Arena. And uh, my goodness, since then we've seen some amazing results, some amazing matches, and all of the interesting and amusing players. And formerly successful players, one by one, knocked out. Me 11 was the only previous, I think even quarter finalist, maybe semi finalist, to meet to make the quarter finals. She made the semi finals again, but she did not make the finals. We have Viking Me 15 playing Serious Me 4. It's it's the contest we've all been hoping would happen. Has it ever happened before? I mean, it would be amazing if it had happened before. I don't think it has because they've both played before this tournament. They both played two. And lost one. Uh, me 15, lost to me 10, beat uh, me 4. Uh, and. Oh, yes, that's it. That's this. That's what it is. That's what this is. So, this is a rematch. Unbelievably, these two, these two players have played before. Let's just check that it hasn't happened before. It can't have done because. So, me 4, beat me 21. Me 15 lost in the next one. Well, that's incredible. Me 15 versus Me 4. It was Me 15 who won the last time these two guys met up. Um, we played the best of three frames in those days. So that is a very exciting precedent to go by. Then then Me 10 beat Me 15. Me 10, I hardly need to remind you, is the Welsh Me. Mind, could remember Welsh Me? He won that tournament. Whatever happened to him? It would be nice to meet all the me's tonight, but I don't think we're going to get time. Next week, we'll be back to, as normal to me one versus me two. But uh, just in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, hey, maybe we have two frames. Maybe we'll have some kind of Super League, European Super League going on in the background as well. So we'll do me one versus me two, then separately one frame from the Super League where maybe eight players will all play each other to find out who is the greatest. It will be the eight elite players that I choose... I'm not sure Me Too is going to get into that. Um, we'll see, but that might be that's might be what we do from now on. I'm, don't worry, the snooker will continue. Nothing can stop the snooker. Nothing can stop the stone clearing, except someone threatening my life. And nothing can stop Twitch of fun. Um, Andy McH says Me was one to three. Have to be in. Well, do they though, Andy McH? Do they? If it's a Super League of Eight, I don't think Me Too deserves to be in there. We'll see. I'll, I'll work out a point system. And it might just be the ones I enjoy doing. <laughs> Maybe we do a Super League of 40 players. So, um, let's have a look at Viking Me's progression in this tournament. Me 15... Beat me 32. I don't need to remind you as the angry me, previous semi-finalist, semi-finalist. Uh, me four. 
in the second half of the draw beat me 31 and, and both of them beat the previous the two people who'd fought in a final before then they were both through um and then the next round round two me 15 beat me 37 impressionist me i mean he's got to be in the, the best eight he's a brilliant character me four beat me 22 conspiracy theory me i'm hoping chris evans is playing some clip some highlight clips as I'm just narrating now, I'm presuming Chris Evans, not that one, has put in some highlights from each, some of the more exciting things from each of those matches as I talk about them. Then, in the next round, quarter we were in the quarterfinals then. Me 15, Viking me beat me 18, oversharing me, and thank God for that. At least that cunt didn't get through. Me 4 beat me 27, total recall me, another boring character. There weren't any many interesting characters left in at this stage. Then, in the semifinals, me 15 beat me 29 which i hardly need to remind you is meninist me uh quite a character and me four beat me 11 female me quite a character and we're left with me 15 versus me four and my goodness i'm looking forward to the pre and post match interviews with those guys uh oh i should say um that uh kabang's uh family got in touch and i'm not the people who owned him his actual family his uh, mother and uh, a couple of his puppies got in touch to say they felt I was disrespectful they I was welling up with tears they interpreted it perhaps because they're from a different culture as laughter um they thought I was laughing at the fact that their their family member had <laughs> had no nose um and had been involved in a, a moment of extreme bravery I don't know how anyone could find that funny and then someone sent me a picture from the side of that dog and uh, it's absolutely horrific what happened to him. It's very brave. Um, and so I'm sorry that those dogs misinterpreted my human emotions as laughter. I think everyone else, every human watching knew that I was I was full of a cr crying emotion. And certainly not, I would never laugh at something like that. Just this whole... <laughs> See, I'm welling up again now. And they'll interpret his laugh. His old snout. Just lopped off by a motorcycle tyre. I mean, I love motorcycling. You know that about me, but that puts me off motorcycling when I see that. Uh, but anyway, today's uh, the very special honour of having the uh, the final arena named after them uh, goes to Kadgajit Baral. Just mainly because I thought Andy McH having to type that in will be quite funny. He's a Nepalese politician and social worker. They're 94 years old, something like that. 92, 93, 94. Um, he, uh, he was chief liaison officer of the United Nations Transitional Authority in Cambodia. Cambodia UNTAC. I mean, I could have just said UNTAC. He didn't know what I was talking about. Uh, but he couldn't UNTAC himself from the sh death's shroud. I think he'd appreciate that pun. Um, if there's a big Wikipedia entry for this guy. You can look him up. He's retired. He was uh, an active member of the Rotary Club of Pashupati, golfer at the Royal Nepal Golf Club. Um, did he ever save two children from possibly being hurt by a motorcycle and get half of his face chopped off, though? That's my question to you. Um... But uh, may rest in peace. I'm sorry to have broken it to you. Especially, I know there's a lot of fans of fans of Un Untac, and of course, there's a lot of Asian fans of self playing snooker. So that's why you might think it does skew quite a lot to Asian Asian uh, dignitaries. But a, a lot of people in Asia die. It's a big continent, and uh, b, um, you know, they live better lives than the you know. There's a stuntman I could have chosen. Who wants him? There's a could have been a Russian actress, died of cancer at the age of fifty three. But you know that's a bit close to home for me at the moment. So he liked golf, which is it's sort of snooker, isn't it? It's sort of like self playing snooker. You play it on your own golf always, just against yourself, and it's like the, the very weird snooker stick that you use to hit the snooker ball, the cue ball, as far as you can. That's what it's like. Well, I thought there'd be uh, more viewers for this vinyl than there are. There's over 200, but only just. Um, yeah, I thought you'd all thank me very much for my years of fucking providing some free entertainment for you pricks. 
by turning up for this or maybe buying tickets to see me at the Clapham Grand. But oh no, fuck you, Herring. We've squeezed you dry. The minute you start charging, fuck you. Uh, we're no longer doing um, streaming online streaming for the Clapham Junction <laughs> gigs, Clapham Grand gigs, uh, due to um, uh, no one buying any tickets. Well, a few people did. You will be reimbursed if you did buy a ticket, but not enough to pay for the camera make people and the system. Uh, and as much as we'd love to bring that service to you, uh, this enterprise is partly to raise money for the Clapham Grand. So it would be a shame if they lost money. Still quite a lot of tickets left for my, all, nearly all the shows. We obviously haven't got guests for most of them yet. Um, the Johnny Vegas one is selling pretty well, but there's still tickets left for that. Uh, there's still lots of tickets for Monday. Um, it would be nice to see as many people there as possible. It's right outside Clapham Junction. It's a very easy place to get to if you live in London. Uh, and it's properly socially distanced. You won't be able to buy tickets on the door, so buy them online, com slash gigs, uh, for um, all the links. And yes, thank you, Michelle. Uh, I uh, I am a good person, and I'm only joking. We're all we're doing fine. Uh, it'll be nice to have a big audience for these things, and I'm sure we will once we're back at the Leicester Square Theatre, um, which hopefully will be in the autumn. But um, I know I appreciate many people don't have the funds to pay for that which is why all for this which is why it's all free and that's why all those podcasts will also go out for free as podcasts sadly now only audio podcasts though but that's good for me because we don't make any money off the video podcast it was always a bad idea we filmed those videos uh, it cost us thousands of pounds and we've only just started putting adverts on youtube and we're making 16 pounds a week so you know you do the maths uh, other companies other business people would uh, think you know, we'd stop filming it then. That's what the Clapham Grand did. But um, me and Chris Evans, not that one, are made of different stuff. We're made of the wrong stuff, but it's different stuff. And we will carry on uh, filming those Leicester Square ones. I may be live streaming those, especially if they sell out, I guess. Um, uh, though if you someone's mentioning my maths T-shirt there, that will actually be uh, one of the prizes uh, this month coming at the end of this month for the monthly badger gets picked in the monthly draw um so if you want a handmade t-shirt beautifully designed by me and signed by me and there'll be a complete one off and it won't be made into hoodies um then if you're not a badger already become a monthly badger go fasterstripe.com slash badges um but look, we've had an amazing year. I've really enjoyed doing all these things. And I think it will inevitably, you know, even out and not be quite as busy as it's been during lockdown. But I do intend to carry on doing Twitch of Fun. Maybe not every week, but uh, certainly we'll carry on doing that in, when, I'm, when I've when i got time. And when it's there's a bit of writing work I've got to do, which might uh, start knocking things on the head. And snooker is easy to do. And uh, tonight I'm doing it on Wednesday night because usually it would be Rahalastapa. Um, and my wife and my daughter are having a little sleepover together. And my wife kind of said, why aren't you doing stuff tonight? I was arranged to have a sleepover with, with Phoebe. And so I've had to come up here and do it. But it suits us, doesn't it? Otherwise we'd never get this finished. And next week, maybe next Tuesday, we'll be... Um, maybe next Wednesday. I am going to be away the week after, so we'll see. Uh, we'll be back to me one versus me two snook. Mondays for... Clapham Junction, though, um, and go to richardhane.com slash gigs to find out what's going on. Um, let's, I, I'm just trying to put off having to talk to these guys. I can just see uh, Viking Mia sitting down in the, uh, in the in the seat there. Let's see, let's go over to him. Oh, hello, Richard. It is me, Viking me. Is it me, 10? No, Richard, did you had me hearing my accent. I am from Scandinavia, unspecified areas of Scandinavia, because it uh, when in my time there was no Scandinavia, it was just Viking land, and nobody had maps or knew where anything was. I'm scared, Richard, because I'm sitting in a chair. We did not have chairs in the Viking times. Well, I'm glad we, we settled on this um, brilliant character for you. Uh, in the last two times you've appeared. Um, I'm not sure that's true. And, you know, also Neanderthal me would have to have the same thing and Viking me isn't quite as good. So um, do you think you can you can beat Serious Me? 
or Richard. I think I can beat him. I mean, you're quite serious yourself. I am. I'm very... The, the, the people, apart from me, 11, the three other semi-finalists were all quite similar. And I was quite similar to Meninist me. And I'm quite similar to Serious me. Uh, but I'm also Viking. So that is... The, I've got a big horned helmet. You got a big what? A big horned helmet. And uh, a big horned helmet. And uh, I love to pillage. Just pillage? Dirt and only a lot of Vikings who carried on in the old ways have been cancelled, Richard. Uh, I only pillage. I want to make that very clear to everybody. Um, that's all I do. Good. Did you ever go berserk? I may go berserk, Richard, if I if it's needed to happen for me to win today. It's free frames. I'm going to be working hard and trying to win. Thank you for having me. I will go and prepare for the game of snooker now and get on the snooker board. Thank you, Viking Me. As you can see, one of the real characters. 40 characters we got. And we got through. I mean, you know, there's six or seven stinkers. They can't all be gold. But, you know, they did so well. And really... I hope it proves that um, there's no way that, that I'm fixing any of this because there's no way this would be the final if I was fixing it. Absolutely no way in heaven. I can see uh, me four just sitting down now. He's very, it's very serious. Hello, Richard. Yes, you, you ignored the me. No, you just misunderstood my accent for a second. It's me, uh, serious me. And... Um, Looking a bit serious, serious me. Yeah, I was just thinking of uh, the Israeli-Palestine situation and how awful that is and how little the world is doing to to stop it happening. Yeah, well, we're trying to, you know, keep it... This sport is a way of leaving behind um, the the problems of the world, isn't it? And uh, to, to make all the confrontation happen on that old green board, that's the way I look at it. So let's try and... Yeah, I guess, but I'm very worried about the Indian variant of the COVID. If that's gonna, the vaccine's gonna stand up to that. Are we gonna be back inside, Richard? That's again. Let's try and keep it light. Let's try and keep it. It's not Debbie Down on me. It's uh, serious me. Um, so you know, you can take the game seriously. You can be as serious as you wish, but you know, just don't start talking. It's very sad to hear about Kadjaget Beral. It's not fucking morbid me, it's serious me. Get your own character right. It's hard to keep a character like this going over five, six weeks, Rich, because there's not much to it. Do you think you can beat Viking me? I don't know, really. It's, we're very similar um, standard players, so in a way it feels like it's just blind luck. You're not commentator two, you're serious me four. four. So let's get on. Shall we go over to commentator one, commentator two? In the Kaj Jigajit Baral Arena. We've got a very special scoreboard for you. Hope you're going to enjoy it. Commentator 1, how are you doing? Yeah. Hello, Hello Richard. Richard, lovely to be here in the Kaj Gajit Baral Arena. There's the old green board beautifully set up. Thank you. Look at that golden, golden scoreboard. Thank you to Evil Space Hamsters. Just subscribed to Prime for five months. Um, there's an echo apparently. Is, there, is everyone getting an echo? It's a bit echoey, says, uh, is Chris Evans not that one out there? I wonder if I'd mute this, whether that, well, is that any better? Does that sound any better? Hello, hello, hello. There were two mics on. Everyone loves the two. Uh, it's better, it's better. I did that myself. And Chris Evans now coming in, trying to move things around as if he's, just the Yeti mic was on as well. I turned it off, Chris, and I'm better than you. It's quiet. Okay, he's turned up. Now it's too loud, right? Anyway, here I am. It's me, Commentator One, and I'm very much looking forward to this being over. I hope you all are too. Um, Viking Me will be breaking first as the winner of the first half of the draw. He's bending down. That's a nice break from Viking Me. Oh, he hits the blue, unfortunately, but otherwise that was almost textbook. Here comes Serious Me 4. He's potted, and this could he could clear from here. This could be a maximum break. Oh, I don't think that black will go past there. There's not really much where else to go. He's going to go for the brown. It's, it's, well, that was nowhere near, but uh, Serious Me is off the mark. Break. See it. Me 4 1. Calculating, calculating. Me 15 0. Me 4 1. 
And Viking Me has his work cut out for him now. Can he catch up? Oh, now that's what I, that's, a, that's the standard we would hope for from these finalists. Again, I think that sadly that red is just in the way of the black here. But uh, it made me make sense to go for the black. Can he roll it past? I mean, he could roll it past, but it didn't go in with that. He's equalized, it's one all. And for those of you who thought it was all over, it isn't now. Me for looking serious. Oh, well, that was quite a shot. Ow, bang, he just banged his head there. I don't know why I said ow, because that was him banging his head. Um, it was an amazing shot. He did a plant, he hit a red into a red that hit the yellow and potted the yellow and the, one of the reds then rolled in. But unfortunately, that's four points to serious me. Unfortunately for Viking me and serious me, is that the hockey? Oh, and that jingled and jangled in the pocket like uh, Tottenham Hotspur trying to score a goal, two goals, but going 2-1 the other way the last time I looked. Um, here comes me, 15. Oh, he's missed. Trying to clip that gently. Is it gonna? Is the camber gonna help him though? No. Oh, this is not looking good for Viking me. Maybe he will go berserk. Serious me. And the brown gets in the way of his shot. Viking me. Tries a couple of doubles there. That could have worked nicely for him, but it doesn't work out. And maybe the, the standard of play isn't as good as I hoped. Serious me. Oh, nearly goes in off, but it just, it just stays in. Viking me now. He needs to make up for some of his errors. He's done it. He's potted nicely. The black is now out of the way. Does he go for a straight pink or into the centre pocket? I think he's going straight. That was a mistake, but uh, he gets a point and he's moved. He's doubled his score. He's up to two. Calculating, calculating. Viking me two. Serious me nine. So it's all serious me at the moment. Remember, this is best of three. If you want to play the herring manoeuvre, lose this first one. Viking me. I think it's Viking me, that one. Serious me. Doesn't know what to do. Just wax him. Doesn't work out for him. Viking me. And they're not falling too nicely for the potters here. Oh, Viking me may have made a mistake there. Serious me. Oh, misses. An easy shot, I would have said. The white nearly goes in. Viking me has a chance to redeem himself. Which he fails to take. It's not looking good. For me in the display of snooker, we hope. Serious me. Just nips a red there. Viking me. Nice plant. Doesn't do anything. Serious me. Can he pop this red? He can. We're back in business. He's going for the brown. Oh, difficult because the ball, cue ball was right up. I think that was serious me. I think this is Viking me. Calculate, dink, calculate, dink. Viking me two, serious me ten. I think there was an agreement on that. And uh, I think this is Viking me now. Is that right? Two ten. Yeah, it's got that right. So that was serious. So this is Viking me at the hockey. No joy for Viking me, serious me. Well, maybe a lot of nerves coming in here, I don't know. It's not the play we've expected. Viking me, weak, very weak shot from Viking me. Serious me, could get this one in. He does, oh, nearly pots the brown as well, but doesn't pot the brown. Could he pot the brown now for a break of five? Highest break of the match so far, if he does. Oh, he's missed quite an easy brown there. Was that serious me or Viking me? I think it's 2.11 or is it, is it, yeah, 2.11. So it's serious, it's Viking me to play. Oh, I'm tired, man. Don't think I can do three lots of this. Viking me to play. I mean, it's better to try and win the first frame, I'd say. Serious me. Well, serious me is taken a bit more seriously and does seem to be trying to win. Oh! He pots and gets a one, but then he goes in off and gives away four. Calculating, calculating, inviting me six. Serious me, 12. 
And Viking Me has his chance to get back into this. Can he double this red in? He can't, oh, hits another red, gets it off the cushion. That's just gonna help Serious Me, and Serious Me could get a big break here. He's got the red, he's now on the black. And this could be a match winning break. Look at that, brilliantly brings the cue ball around. Unfortunately, the black ball has now more or less got in the way. Can he get round it? Serious Me, he's gonna break eight. He's made it nine. Oh, he's not gonna get the black again but he could get the brown. Oh, he missed it. But still break of nine for Serious Me. Calculating, calculating, Viking Me six, Serious Me 21. And Serious Me has put Viking Me in a whole lot of trouble here because uh, there's a sn good snooker. Can he come off the top cushion? Oh, he hit the, hit the pink, Viking Me. This is not looking good for the young Viking from the, the Viking centuries. He is now six, plays 27. Serious me. It's the red. Viking me. He's got to play a safety shot here. Oh dear, that was not a safety shot. That was a bad miss. And Viking Me seems to have given up in this first frame. 31-6 now, and that's a snooker, so uh, Serious Me can use any colour as a red. He's taken the yellow, that's a nice play. At least one of these players seems to be trying their hardest. He's going for the blue. Oh, that jingled and jangled in the pocket. Oh, nearly went in off, but nicely down. For the red, which he can't pop, but that gives Viking Me a chance to get back into this. It's not over yet. Oh, he's playing badly. Serious me, playing well. This is the form that beat me 11, the fan favorite. Oh, that's a bit soft though, nice positioning. So, calculating, calculating, me 15, six, me 4, 33. There is uh, 27 behind them and 27 on the table. Can Viking Me make the first frame a draw? I mean, he seems to be going for it. Fair enough to him, good play. He's potted the yellow, he's potted the green. He's gone in off on the brown, which slightly ruins it for him. Calculating, calculating. Me, 15, 11. Me, 4, 37. Where did that cube, where did that ball end up going? Into the centre pocket. So, serious me, could wrap it up here. Should be able to get this brown. Then I think it's pretty much over. Oh, that was childishly easy. Um, Viking me does need a snooker, which is annoying for him because he had quite an easy shot there himself, but he's not really got a snooker in any tr of the traditional sense of the word. Me four, beautiful. Oh, no, it's gone in off. And that's a little chink of light for a Viking me. If he could come back and win this first frame, it would be one of the most astonishing things we've seen. He is now 22 points behind, 22 points on the table. Will he take the draw if he can get it? I think he will. Viking me, pots the brown. He'll be ruining some of the terrible mistakes he's made on. That's one of them. At least he's getting up to a decent score. 19 plays 37. See if Serious Me can get this blue. He's got it. He's back. Oh, the it's just sweet play from Serious Me. He deserves this first frame. He's right on the pink. Oh, misses it though. Calculating, calculating. Me 15, 19. Me, 4.42, it's, there's a long way to go here. And uh, Viking Me does not concede, which is perhaps annoying given how boring this frame is. It doesn't matter, Serious Me is teaching him a lesson. He tries to double, tries to triple, tries to quadruple, doesn't matter, it's a comfortable win. 48 plays 19, that's frame one. Serious me, 
has one foot in the trophy. Um, we'll watch referee one now as he rejigs it. Well, hopefully, me four will just win this one as well, and then that'll be the end of this. We can all move on with our lives. Uh, Viking me really gonna have to up his game here. He's played very badly. Herring maneuver, perhaps, let's see. But self-playing snooker is a funny game. And when one player seems to be in the ascendant, the other can come back, find themselves surprisingly adept all of a sudden. What do you think, commentator two, as we just watch? Uh, it's an unusual thing to see the referee setting up the board, but it's nice to see this occasionally. <clears throat> what do you think? I don't agree. I think we see it every week, and I don't think it's interesting. I wasn't really talking about that. I was talking about what do you, who do you think is going to win? I think Richard Herring, one of the characters Richard Herring plays in this will win. Um, I think it's largely irrelevant, and I don't think it will be a tournament that anyone really remembers when it comes to the end of their life. Well, thank you. I can't, I'll have to interrupt you because me four has just broken and lost four points immediately. He's gone in off, and that could be the start that Viking me was looking for. <coughs> Certainly, you know, it gives him an advantage. Um... Calculating, calculating, me 15, four, me four, zero. And me 15 has the chance now to maybe clear. There's one point, is it? Oh, very unlucky, a very nasty little collision with the red, I think, and the cue ball changed direction. Went in off, it's four all. Viking me had, a, had the world ahead of him. And serious me, oh, hits that a bit too hard. Unusually for these players, Viking me, can he knock this red into the centre pocket, into the middle? Yeah, and knock the centre pocket into the top pocket. He's done it anyway. It's one point to Viking me. He's going for the pink. Don't know what he's thinking. Not too bad, but he doesn't get it in. <coughs> At least he's ahead this time, but for how long? Because serious me has just seen an opportunity to possibly clear from here. Oh, he misses the red. He was a he had a oh golden opportunity there. Viking me is has Viking me got him on the run. That was a good shot. Viking me seems to have found his rhythm. Oh yes, he's got a break of four. One of the highest breaks so far in this final. Two balls. Can he make it three? Oh, how the fuck, oh. Viking me, getting a slightly unlucky kiss. Uh, and the cue ball goes in. So I think that makes it nine eight to Viking me. He's got a break of four, but gave away four. And now serious me is at the Oki, has the advantage, the Oki advantage. And he's changed his mind about which one he's going for. Oh, did he think those would all knock together? Oh, that's pretty good though from Serious Me. Not quite a snooker, but Viking Me tries a whack it and it works for him. He's put two balls. Beautifully done. Uh, it's a touching ball on the black, so he can put this cue ball right down the bottom of the table. And Viking Me stretches his lead, calculating, calculating, me 15, 11, me 4, 8. Well, this is exciting now. We have a match on our hands. Serious Me. Oh, how the fuck did he miss that? That was stupidly hard for a ball right over a pocket. It actually leapt in the air. Viking Me hits it hard too, but his one goes down. It's only the black really here. Can he double this in? But he's extending his lead. It's looking good. Serious me. Some serious jocking. Ooh, nearly goes in off. Ooh. And it's almost like these players have reversed during the interval there. Oh, Viking me hits the post. Serious me. Tries to plant. Oh, and he gets lucky. The the kiss saves him in the thing in that time. Viking me. 
Going for a long shot, difficult, the cue ball right against the cushion. Oh, it was a bit of a miss hit, but he got it anyway. And that was nice stuff from Viking Me. If he goes for that green, he might be snookered. He's gone for the green, he isn't snookered, he's thought ahead. That's, oh, though, that's going on the brown spot. Oh, unlucky, he's snookered himself. He's got a break of four, is he gonna give away four or more? A bit unlucky for Viking Meat, but he could get out of this. No, that bottom cushion, very hard to judge. He gets four, gives away four. Calculating, calculating, me 15, 16, me four, 12. And me four could snatch the trophy here. Oh, that danced into the pocket. It came out. Me 15, oh, nice try from me 15. Me four. I don't know what that was from me four. He's looking desperate. Me 15 could put this into the corner. Oh no, it's a bad shot. Well, it's a very nerve wracking. They've come this far. far. Oh, what a shot from me four. Is he back in? Could this be his tournament? Oh, there's some stuff in his way. He's going for blue. He pulls back one, he goes up to 13, it's 16, 13. Viking me is snookered, all the balls coagulating. At this end of the table, pretty hard to know how to come out of this one. Oh, beautiful work from Viking me. Serious me. Fails to pot and Viking me has an opportunity here. Oh, unlucky, unlucky. Serious me. Oh, unlucky too. Very unlucky this goes in. Ooh, oh, it just looked like it was gonna stay. Then it fell in. I think that was serious me hit that one. So Viking me is now leading by 20 points to 13. And there's at the Oki, misses the red. All the balls coagulating. Serious me. Is that gonna roll in? No, it looks like me 15th luck has turned. He pots the red. Can he get this blue? Oh, terrifically unlucky for me 15 days, but he has had some bad luck. The blue ball jingled and jangled in the pocket and the cue ball just fell right through. That's five points to me four. It's close now. Calculating, calculating, me 15, 21, me four, 18. And uh, as it's a snooker, me four can go for any ball. He's gone for the black. Gets one point for that, of course. And he could get a snooker here if he's canny. Can he be canny? He's going for the brown. He's been canny, my friends. He's been super canny, and that could be a match winning position because this is very hard to get out of now. There's three balls. For those listening in audio, the yellow, the brown, and the pink are like a defensive wall, the red behind it on the cushion. Black on its spot, green some way from its spot, blue a long way from its spot. The cue ball, his only hope is to come off two cushions at the top and hope there's some kind of geometric bounce here, but he could well hit the pink, he could hit the brown. Can he hit the red? No, he's nowhere near, it's been called a miss. Four points. Four points to serious me. And that's a bit closer. Oh, but six points, so 10 points to serious me, hit the pink. Came very close. Now Serious Me is in the lead. 21 plays 29. Serious Me can see the red. Can he double it in? No, he can't. Has he got another snooker? He didn't think of that. He should have gone for another snooker, I think. Viking Me. He's maybe got a snooker though. And that, the shoe's on the other foot. Serious Me. Oh, he's hit the pink and gone in off. Well, that makes it much more exciting. 
27 plays 29. All these colours still down this end, apart from the black. Down the, down the shallow end of the pool. Viking me. I think he's got a snooker planned. And he's played me four in his own game, and that's an even better snooker. Me four is going to have to do the same as me. 15. Oh, what a perfect shot from me four. And that might be the shot of the champion. Can me 15 get another snooker? Yes, he can. There's some that's safety play coming here for once. Can me four get out this one? I don't think so. Oh, very unlucky. It hit the pocket. It hasn't been called a miss. Don't know why. Don't really understand that rule. Four points to me 15. He's in the lead. Is it? To, to, yeah, 31 plays 29. Viking me. Has to be caught careful. He doesn't pop the pink. Nicely done. A fantastic safety play coming through. And that's another snooker. And this one is even more impossible. I don't think there's a snooker. You shouldn't be sorry. There isn't a snooker player in the world who could get out of this one. Me4 is going to try. He's not even looking down. Oh, he's hit their yellow. That was as good a chance as anyone was going to get. Well played to me4. Four. four points to me15. And this is, we don't usually see this. It's a serious frame. Viking me has potted the red. Can he pop this easy blue? No, fucking hell. Shit, hell, what an idiot. Calculating, calculating, me 15, 36, me 4, 29. And me 4, still not out of this by any means. Oh, seemed to fuck that up. But again, he's got an incredible snooker. Every snooker is more impossible than the last. This time, ah, oh, that is just super impossible. Can he do, no, that won't work. This is like the ultimate snooker. I thought we'd seen, he, I think he thinks the only thing he can do is, no, that's not going to work. Me 15, looked like he was going to win this second frame. Oh, he's potted the yellow, but uh, he hit the pink first, unfortunately, and I think that was as close as he was going to get. I don't think anyone could call that a miss. The yellow comes back up. It's another snooker, so... Uh, Serious me can play the black as a yellow, which he's done. He's more or less snooking himself by doing that. Yeah. These are hard shots, man. Oh, that's the mark of a champion. Brilliantly got out of that. This is some fantastic play in a very exciting frame. Me 15. It's now trailing by a point. He's done, I don't know what he was trying there. I think he was maybe trying to double the yellow into the center pocket. I can't get into his brain. Serious me, did he touch the pink with his hand there? He's got away with it if he did, and he's potted the yellow. So that could be a seriously important moment by uh, if the, the referee won. If he did touch that pink, there's no way of knowing. And he's potted the green. Can Serious me pot his way to the Chris Evans Not That One Championship? Can he do it? Viking me. He is playing to stay in this match. Oh, he's got another amazing snooker. Will Sirius me get out of this one? Very close, but he doesn't. Four points, and it's so close. Calculating, calculating, me 15, 40, me four, 42. You know, I thought this would be shit. I thought we got two shit players. Oh, me 15 misses Brown, but it's turning out to be something pretty special. Me 4, he's trying to double it. What a shot. Shot of a champion. We'll see. Can he double this blue? Oh, and that time he's definitely touched the pink. And he can't get away with that one. He gets four points for the double, gives away six points. It's unbelievably 46 all. And Viking me has a crack at this very difficult blue. I don't think it's worth trying to get it into that pocket. 
Yeah, I think that was sensible. Oh, oh, nearly very good. Serious me. Good evening, Richard. Hello. How can I help? I don't. I didn't say Siri. I said serious. Viking me. I don't have an answer for that. Shush! I'm trying to play snooker. Shut up. Oh, and Viking me put off. I think by Siri coming in there. And could that be the moment? That's good. Serious me, not put off by Vike. Oh, serious me, had one hand on the trophy. He'd potted the blue, but the cue ball went up and hit the black and potted the black, unbelievably. The blue comes back up. Seven points to Viking me. Seven valuable points. Viking me can get this blue. Oh, can he and how can he? I think that might be it. Oh, no, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I think if he needs the pink. Tried to get it in the top pocket. That was incredibly bold. Has he made an awful mistake? He's on 58. Oh, there's 13 points on the table. There's 12 points between these two. Can serious me wrap it up here? He's got the pink. Oh, he's beautifully positioned on the black. And serious me, an absolutely astonishing frame. That one so much closer. I think Viking me deserved it. He was unlucky there. To make the, he was bold and maybe stupid to try and pop that pink. And you, it was every chance he would leave that pink on. And serious me has taken advantage of it. And in the battle of two of the least good characters, the most boring of the characters has won. Serious Me wins 2-0, two, 2 to nothing, avenging his defeat in the first round of the very first tournament. And actually bettering that score. It was 2-1, I believe. And uh, he's done he's taken out Viking Me. Two love. It's all over. How do you feel, commentator two? Relieved and delighted it's finished. Um uh, Ali Fan says, self-playing snooker is a serious game for a serious player. We have a serious winner, and I don't think I could put that better myself, so I will not. Back to you, Richard, in the studio. Well, I didn't think it would be that good, I have to say. I thought it would be just embarrassing. Um, but that is the final, the, out of the four finals we've had, is definitely probably in the top four finals or oh, Chris Evans has just pushed some changing everything around what's going on or has he got some special thing to come up I hope you can still see me because I can't see myself Chris Evans has something planned no you just can I put the thing back on thank you um he didn't have anything planned He's just being his usual asshole um, I can't see, I couldn't see you because Chris Evans closed down OBS, which is how I view all of this. And so, you know, I couldn't see whether you could see me. Uh, Becker has 208,132 channel points. Gambling the house by accident. Uh, me, four, is the winner. Let's talk to the loser, the run-up first of all. Just sitting down now, Viking me, how are you feeling? Well, Richard, I feel okay. I feel I, I feel annoyed with myself for letting the second frame go there because I, if I'd won that, then I could have gone on to win um, the whole thing. But because I lost it, I am now two nil down, and that is, and even for a Viking, we cannot come back. So I say, well done, serious me. A lot of people said we the, there were no personalities in this. In this final, have you turned into Arnold Schwarzenegger? No, I am a Viking, and I think we have proven them very wrong because there is some characters. It is us. Thank you for allowing me to play. I'm sorry that I didn't win the final, but I couldn't have been closer apart from the first frame, which I was really beaten by. Thank you, Richard. You've done a great job doing all this free stuff for everyone. I'd no one ever thanks you. Uh, you are amazing. <laughs> and, you know, I, you'll be rewarded in heaven. That's what I think in Valhalla. Oh, well, I'm forgetting a fucking Viking reference in there right at the end. 
Um, look, I, I don't do this for awards, though I did win an award. Um, uh, I don't do this for the critics because they're not interested in it. I don't do this. I do it because I know when I'm dead, yeah, you're right. People will go, what a genius he was for doing this amazing thing. But it would be wrong if it was recognised in my lifetime. Um, let's meet the winner. Serious me. How, he's just sitting down now. Hi, Richard. Yeah, I, it's a serious game for serious players. I'm number four. Serious me. You know, I'm a high up number. Serious me. You would think it would be a better character at number four. But you have to remember that we just... I, they, they were named as they came up in that first tournament. So... I was about the seventh or eighth. Uh, I'm still even so. I've got the seventh or eighth person to play, but you'd still think Richard Herring would have thought something better than Serious Me. Um, so I'm just cracking up with the emotion. Um, you know, this is for the people of Palestine. Yeah, Can we not get into that? Um, it's not the time. I'm not saying I'm against the people of Palestine for you all. Try and cancel me. Just saying this isn't the time, Serious Me. This is a time to be serious about snooker. Uh, and uh, well done. That's really improved your statistics, that run, Serious Me. Um, you, may, you may make it into the Super 8 or Super 12 or however many we have in that league. It's going to be a long-running competition, I can tell you. Um, it just remains for me to present you with the Chris Evans Not That One Trophy. Beautiful, priceless artefact. Um... There it is. It's got a snooker ball at the top. If you look there, I'm being hit by another snooker ball. Specially designed. Don't look at that side. Specially designed for uh, the, by the self-playing. It's almost the self-playing snooker federation logo there. I'm just handing that over now to me for. Thank you, Richard. Just receiving that and very grateful for it. This is for all my fans, all the people who believed in me from the beginning. I know there's a lot out there. They've been shouting out for me all the way through the competition. They would like um, me to win. I saw that again and again in the chat room all the way through the tournament. Uh, I got a lot of tweets about it. And uh, this is for you guys. Thanks for the support. I couldn't have done it without all the Me4 supporters. Seriously, I'm being really serious now. I'm always serious. Um, this Chris Evans, not that one, may rest in peace. So, so sad what happened to him. Um, but his memory lives on in this in this trophy. And also, here's to Kajit Gajit Baral. I hope his family don't get in touch and say they don't want their name named after him. Well, it's been a long road. A lot has happened since we started this. <laughs> this ball. <laughs> you know, Kabang's died. My balls died. There were things that didn't exist. Right bollocks didn't even exist as a puppet. I mean, that's why he's not probably one of the players. Was he in one of the players? The King of the World was one of the players, wasn't he? Um, there's some orange badgers coming in and orange carrots, bananas. I don't know what's going on. Um, oh, it's some ra we're getting some raiders. Hello, raiders. You've missed everything. Um, thanks to Swim to Birds who's just subscribed. Do subscribe to Twitch if you uh, can be bothered. If not for me, then for one of the other idiots who's doing this stuff here. Um, if you're with Amazon Prime, it's free. Oh, Dom Jolly's raiding me. My goodness. Um, I finally got a pointless trophy, Dom Jolly. Look at that. Finally. Um, they've all come in. They've crashed the party. Serious me's one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, look, really appreciate all the support. Um, and... Uh, we will be back on Thursday. That's tomorrow with Twitch of Fun, almost certainly. Thank you, everyone. Take care. Let's just end looking at me for with this trophy. Here he is. He's, I'm very serious.